Hi. Now before this video starts, let me make it very clear that I am well aware of the fact that a lot of videos are doing the rounds, not just all over the web, but even on social media on this very topic. However, less than one fourth of the videos contain trustworthy and reliable information. This video is different. I am not here to give my theories, but plain, simple facts. For every piece of information I give you, there will be a verified source and a link given to it in the description below. First things first, let's get the basics clear. The microorganism causing COVID-19 is known as the novel coronavirus because it belongs to a family of viruses known as the coronaviruses, but this specific type has never been seen before. The disease is known as COVID-19 because CO stands for Corona, VI stands for virus and D stands for disease. Declared as a pandemic on 11th March, that is a worldwide outbreak. The disease has already infected hundreds of thousands of people around the globe and will continue to do so if proper steps and measures are not taken. Despite being extremely infectious, the virus does not spread via air. Instead, it gets into a person's body when they come in contact with another person who already shows the COVID-19 symptoms, especially when they come in contact with the droplets they release when they cough or sneeze. One must also be careful of the things they touch because the virus can last for up to 24 hours on surfaces such as cardboard, laminates, door handles and plastics. The novel coronavirus symptoms vary from person to person, but most of the times, they just show behavior that one experiences during common illnesses like fever, dry cough, and body ache. Slowly, this develops into breathing problems and pneumonia-like symptoms. At times, the infected person may not show any symptoms at all and unknowingly may also infect several other people who come in contact with them. A research conducted by the World Health Organization tells us that it took 67 days for the virus to be conceived by the first 100,000 people. Then it took 11 days for the virus to be taken up by the next 100,000 people and a mere 4 days for it to be taken up by the next 100,000 people. This is enough evidence to tell us that the virus is accelerating at an abnormally high rate. And during these times, it is extremely necessary for us to keep ourselves protected. The best way in which you can save yourself from this disease is by practicing social distancing and maintaining good hygiene habits. Wash and sterilize your hands regularly, at least once in every two hours to make your hands free of any germs which may be residing on it. It is also recommended that you keep your throat moist because quite a few times the virus developed in the throat of the infected person. One must also maintain distance with any person who has a cough or a cold and you yourself must always cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. A distance of at least a meter should be maintained with everyone, whether it's friends, family or mere acquaintances. This practice is known as social distancing and is one of the most effective ways in preventing the transmission of the novel coronavirus. In order to protect the world from this pandemic, several countries like the United Kingdom, the United States of America, India and China have taken extreme steps and locked down their countries. A lockdown in most cases is just one level below a curfew, wherein people are not allowed to leave their homes unless it is for essential services and for accumulating essential items. This step, however, has also resulted in a lot of panic buying and hoarding, which should be stopped at any cost because the governments are trying their best to ensure that there is no shortage of essential supplies. A lot of us may also be asking why lockdowns are necessary. Well, simply because social distancing is one of the only ways in which the spread of the novel coronavirus can be stopped. Countries like India, which have a longer lockdown period, will help in better combating of the disease. The three week or 21 day lockdown is a world first, but is an extremely essential step. Because according to the Indian Prime Minister, 
a 21 day period is required to break the chain of the spreading of the virus and hence stop its spread. The main ideology behind this is the fact that a period of 5 to 14 days is required for the development of the symptoms to take place inside the body. It is also the time where the infection can be spread. With this longer period, not only is the incubation period covered, but a part of the self-isolation period is also covered. If these lockdowns are stringently followed all over the world, it will be a major step in preventing the spread of the novel coronavirus. China is a prime example of an area where these lockdowns have worked. The Hubei province, where the virus was first detected, was locked down for over a month and finally, on March 19th, reported no new coronavirus cases. There have also been a lot of rumours and products claiming to help and cure the virus. But please do not believe in them, because as I said, it is a rumour. The biggest one which I've heard is that drinking cow urine helps in curing the disease. But as proved by the BBC, it is just a rumour. There is no official treatment for the virus at the time of making this video and a possible cure is months away. In case you have forwarded a message with unreliable information, please refrain from forwarding it further and ensure that only official information is spread from your end. One must also look at the brighter side of things in every situation. The lockdown would encourage people to spend better quality time with family members and would also give them more me time to help them organize their lives in a better manner. I mean, look at me. I'm here after over a year, finally uploading a video when I finished my class 10th and have a relatively long break before school reopens for class 11th. Before this video ends, I have just one request from you guys. I request you to share the link to this video with as many people as possible to ensure that nobody is in the dark about the novel coronavirus and its effects. Also, if you've made it this far into the video, make sure to type down hashtag beat corona in the comment section below to show your support to all the people fighting this disease and to our saviors and gods in the white coats, that is the doctors. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.